It's been said that pathfinders are people who live for a purpose that's higher than themselves. They understand challenges our society is facing and there are lifelong learners. It's rare to find that combination. We're blessed to have George Etanandes as our leader at University Health Systems. You know, to get to be a CEO of a major organization, obviously you have to be intelligent and you have to have organizational skills and leadership skills. But he puts all of the talents and attributes you'd expect in a CEO into a humble servant leader package. George has never forgotten where he's come from and, and the community he serves. George is, in many ways, a, your average good guy. He's been married to the same woman, Adele, for a long time. He has kids that are spread all over the countryside and they're all very successful. He's very proud of the fact that he grew up on the south side of San Antonio, Texas. In his history, he's worked for the city, the county, and the county hospital. I knew about his work in the, uh, for the city, uh, at work in the DA's office, and then I, when I became judge in May of 2001, I met him when he was working with the hospital system. He, I believe he was the attorney at that time. And then uh, he was appointed by the board uh, uh, the CEO of the University Hospital. And he's had an extraordinary uh, career since that time. George is a San Antonio native, and I think he really carries with him the desire to do what's best for this community and to serve his community. And so he really takes being a servant leader very seriously and he's very passionate about it. He's always looking to make sure that the, the patient is first, the citizen is first. Although George is not an elected official, I would say he's one of the people in this community that has had more positive effect on the lives of, of everyone who's lived here, and in fact, in the entire region. Um, because he's been that public servant. He has made such an impact on the educational system, on the healthcare delivery system, on the insurance system, on mental health, on things even in the criminal justice system. Uh, he has uh, made such an impact. And he understands uh, the political implications of being a CEO within the organization as well as outside. I think he's a quiet storm. George is very open to ideas. He, he listens. George is someone that's going to make changes. George sees something. He uh, sees what you and I see. But additionally, he sees something else, and that's what the future ought to look like. If he's talking about the health system, he, he's got an idea of what it's like today but he spends a good bit of time thinking about what it should be tomorrow, what it should be next year, what it should be five years down the road. Oh, we built a few years ago a brand new wing tower, the Sky Tower. Today there's another big tower going up, which is women's and children's. We meet the needs. His whole desire is to be there with the best health care that's available anywhere, whether you're rich or poor. He's always looking at the future. He is a transition person. He's making things better for all of us. All you have to do is look at what we've done in COVID. Today marked the beginning of a mass vaccination effort led by the county-run University Health Systems. Around the country, hospitals were trying to figure out how to handle several hundred a day vaccinations. He got his team together and said, what can we do in a big way about this? So instead of having a little room where people could get a vaccination, they took over most of them for shopping mall and had thousands of people such that we at days had six and 7,000 people through there. And as of now, we've done over 500,000 vaccinations. People come from other places and say, how did you guys do this? So that was a, a step that University Hospital prior to that had never taken in public health. That was a big step, that was a big step to do. When everyone was overwhelmed, I think George was that quiet, 
reassuring voice that said, we'll get through this, we'll make it happen, we will be here for the community. I can't think of a better partner to have in this community. This award is just so perfect for him. It's the top award from the chamber and it's going to a very special person in this community. This county, this city, uh, this part of Texas, and I say this part of Texas because there are people from all over South Texas that use University's health system. Uh, we are all better and we are all healthier uh, because of George Hernandez's work and, and the work of the team that he's put together and he leads. I'd like to say congratulations to my friend George. You're getting this Pathfinder Award because you have found paths that have led to saving lives and the improvement of health care for millions of people. And I am so very grateful. I'll be your friend and I'll follow you on any path.